you know, I told you that my father was a magician, right? And my connection with him started as a magician in third grade. I was in third grade when I found some of his magic props from Tannins, actually. Uh, and my parents still are doing great. They live in St. Louis, Missouri. They're doing fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you know my parents? <laughs> but my connection to my, uh, my father started just a little bit before that, still in third grade, big year for me. Uh, I was in music class, and I was listening to a song that, that just hit me in a very interesting and special way. And I went home to my dad, true story, and I said, Pop, I, I heard this song today. I love it. And told him the name of the song. He reached back, true story. He, he grabbed a cassette tape off the shelf. Do you remember those? <laughs> <laughs> Number two pencil. <laughs> uh, and it had that song on it. And he handed it to me and he said, it's my favorite song too, son. Yeah, and uh, that's, and that, I still remember that like it was yesterday and it's when my, that connection with my dad really started in that way. And that song was Elton John's Indian Sunset from his Madman Across the Water album. Do you know that song? No, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. A few of you do. Okay, good, more than, more than usual. And uh, it's true, that song's not very well known. And I have to say, this tape, is not that tape. Uh, it would break in my hands, it's too old. But, uh, but it is a copy of that tape. And I, I make duplicates of it and I carry them with me on the road when I travel. And I listen to it. And, uh, and I love it. He loved Elton John. He had Indian Sunset on one side. And on the other side, he had Elton John's Your Song. And I just love it. I listen to it. It makes me think about my dad. Actually, would you indulge me just for a minute? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, not many people know this song. You remember these? <laughs> I won't play you the whole thing, but if you, if you ever get a chance to hear or listen to the song, you should. It's a, it's a beautiful song, and, and I really think that, uh, well, I don't think he ever got the, he doesn't get the real recognition for it. He deserves He never played it in concert. Can you hear it? No. It's a beautiful song. And it makes me think about my dad whenever I hear it. Takes me back in time. When I was a kid and very bad. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I, I love this song. So, uh, but here's what I would ask. Mike, can I have the house lights for a moment, please? I wonder, is there anybody out there, out, out here, that has a song that they think about? maybe from their childhood, that when they hear it today, it gives, gives you joy or makes you smile. Maybe a song that we all can recognize or know the lyrics to, maybe even sing along with. Anybody have a song like that that takes them back? Moon River. Moon uh, River? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who yelled out Moon River? This one. This one. <laughs> uh, this one. We did. And, and who sings Moon River? Uh, oh, Frank, oh, oh, Mancini. Henry Mancini. He wrote it. Andy Williams. Oh, right, he wrote it, you're right. Andy Williams. Yes. He, wrote, he wrote it. He wrote it. He wrote it. That's fair. Who said Moon River? We this did. one here. Because you keep pointing to each other. We're a team. We're a team. We're a team. They said it together. I, I'm only going to take one member of the team. <laughs> and you, you get to battle it out right now. Uh, would you join me on stage, please? Right. Give her a nice round of applause. Here she comes. Wow, Andy Williams, Moon River, amazing, right? Andy Williams, is that right? Is that right? Right? Well, she's right in her routine. I can't remember who's singing it. But it's yes. Andy. It's Andy Williams. Yes. yes. What's your name? Joanna. Joanna, I'm John. Woohoo! Nice to meet you. Woo -hoo! Uh, first time here at the castle. No, I love this place. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So it sounds like you've been here a lot. Uh, three or four times. <laughs> How'd you get in? Always a guest. Wow. Oh, who? Different people. <laughs> Tonight, uh, a fabulous children's magi magician that came to a birthday party. Aww. So, yay for children's magicians. <laughs> How's the show going for you? It's awesome. <laughs> Right? Yeah, they, they were both fantastic. Was I right? You were right. I was right. You were right. <laughs> I know, and by the way, he is 17. 
Lee, no matter how tall he is. He's a giant. Yeah, he's, he's a giant. And, you know, I have a I usually have a problem with tall people. But he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> and you memorized a magazine. For I us. did, in fact. Do that. That was very uh, let's talk about that for a while. Um, you know what? Here's what I'll, I'll say. I want to thank. When was the first time you heard that song? I I was a little girl. My dad was a huge Mancini fan. When you were talking about your dad in particular, I thought about my dad, and that was that he loved Mancini and that song in particular. I'm not quite sure why, but that song always makes me think of that. Oh, that makes me so happy. Wow, how, do you know how old you were? I probably was like six. six. Like, it was, it was a long time ago. When's the last time you heard it? Um, probably, gosh, it's probably like five or five years ago, maybe. So it's been a while. I should listen to it again. You should. Yeah. You should listen to it again. When, when you hear it, does it make you think about your dad? Always, every single time. I love it, and it makes me very happy for you to say it. That's great. Um, you know what? You should listen to it again. <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> one word for it. Everyone has to know it. But, like I said, my father, he put Indian Sunset on this side, right? And uh, on this side, like I said, he put more stuff. What? That is what it says on there. Oh, that was my song! <laughs> uh, I have another show at 10 p.m. <laughs> This does not belong to me. It belongs to you. Aww. You were going to try and make me cry, and I'm not going to do it in front of these people. <laughs> I want you to take this. I want you to take it home, put it on your shelf, and like my bed. And if you walk by and you see this tape, I want you to hear Moon River in your mind. I want it to take you back in time, and I want you to think about your dad. That's great. 